Hey, this is Presh Talwalker. Here's a puzzle that's gone viral in the mathematical community. Bottle plus bottle plus bottle is equal to 30. Bottle plus burger plus burger is equal to 20. Burger plus two beers plus two beers is equal to nine. What is the value of the integral from burger plus burger minus bottle to infinity of the fraction bottle multiplied by sine of hot dog divided by the quantity two beers multiplied by hot dog d hot dog i thank phil for the suggestion pause the video if you'd like to give this problem a try and when you're ready keep watching to learn how to solve this problem let's get started on these equations we have three bottles is equal to 30, and that means each bottle is equal to 10. Now let's use this value for the next equation. Bottle plus two burgers is equal to 20. So we have 10 plus two burgers is equal to 20. That means two burgers is equal to 10, and one burger is equal to five. We'll substitute this value into the third equation. So we have five plus a total of two multiplied by two beers is equal to nine. That means two multiplied by two beers is equal to four. And so two beers is equal to two. We'll now substitute these values into the integral. So we have the integral from burger plus burger minus bottle to infinity, a bottle multiplied by sine hot dog divided by two beers multiplied by hot dog d hot dog. So burger plus burger minus bottle is equal to five plus five minus 10, which is equal to zero. That's the lower limit, we'll substitute that in. Then bottle is equal to 10, so we can substitute that value in. Two beers are equal to two, we substitute that in. Now hot dog is a placeholder variable, so we can replace it by x. So we have sine x, two x, and dx. Let's now clean up this integral. We just need to evaluate this value. Now 10 divided by two is equal to five. So we have a constant here. So we have five multiplied by sine x divided by x. We can take five outside of this integral. And so the key thing we need to evaluate is the integral from zero to infinity of sine x divided by x dx. This is a very famous integral and it's known as the Dirichlet integral. There are many ways to evaluate it. It's actually very difficult to be completely rigorous but I'll do my best in this video to present one way to evaluate this integral. So let's work this out. The first thing is we're going to need a magic trick. We will first look at the integral from zero to infinity of e to the power of negative xy multiplied by sine x dy. These kinds of integrals come up in differential equations. So as they were studied, people notice connections with other concepts. So let's just evaluate this integral first. Sine x is a constant with respect to y, so we could bring it outside of the integral. We now integrate e to the power of negative xy with respect to y. This is equal to e to the power of negative xy divided by negative x, and we want to evaluate this from zero to infinity. Now the limit as y goes to infinity of e to the power of negative y is equal to zero, and e to the power of zero is equal to one. So we can substitute in that this is equal to zero divided by negative x minus one divided by negative x, which all simplifies to be sine x divided by x. So this integral is exactly equal to sine x divided by x. If we integrate both sides from zero to infinity with respect to x, we then get exactly the integral that we want. So the integral we want is equal to this double integral. So how do we evaluate that? It's very difficult to evaluate this double integral. So there's a natural trick we use when we work out double integrals. The trick is to change the order of integration. However, e to the power of negative xy multiplied by sine x doesn't satisfy our normal conditions for Frobenius theorem evaluated from zero to infinity over y and x. So we will refer to another theorem. So I'll just put it up on the screen and there's a paper that you can look to for all the details. But there are specific conditions which will allow you to change the order of integration that would apply for this particular problem. 
you just go ahead and check that those conditions are satisfied and then we're on proper grounding to change the order of integration. So we will change the order of integration to get the double integral going from zero to infinity, zero to infinity of e to the power of negative xy multiplied by sine x dx dy. So now how do we evaluate this? The first trick we'll use is that we'll write sine x in terms of Euler's function. So sine x can be substituted as e to the power of ix minus e to the power of negative ix all over 2i. From here, we can multiply the exponentials. So we have e to the power of negative x multiplied by y minus i minus e to the power of negative x multiplied by y plus i. This is dx dy, where the limits go from 0 to infinity, 0 to infinity, and we pull out this 1 over 2i. From here, we will integrate these exponentials with respect to x. So let's just focus on this integral. So let's evaluate what's inside. So we remember that the limit as x goes to infinity of e to the power of negative x is equal to 0, and e to the power of 0 is equal to 1. So this is all going to simplify tremendously. We're going to get 0 minus 0. Then we subtract out the quantity 1 over negative y plus i minus 1 divided by negative y minus i. As it turns out, these denominators are complex conjugates of each other. So in order to get a common denominator, we multiply each fraction by the denominator of the other. So we're going to end up with negative negative y minus i divided by this denominator plus negative y plus i divided by the same denominator. Each denominator is going to work out to be 1 plus y squared. So we can combine the numerators. Then the y terms are going to cancel out. So this all works out to be 2i divided by 1 plus y squared. What is simplification? So this integral will be equal to 1 divided by 2i multiplied by the integral of 0 to infinity of 2i divided by 1 plus y squared dy. Now the 2i terms will cancel out. So this is equal to the integral from 0 to infinity of 1 divided by 1 plus y squared dy. This is a standard integral. This is equal to the arctangent of y, and we want to evaluate that from 0 to infinity. Now the limit as y goes to infinity of arctangent of y is equal to pi over 2, and then the arctangent of 0 is equal to 0. So we get pi over 2 minus 0, and this is equal to pi over 2. So we figured out that the integral from 0 to infinity of sine x divided by x dx is equal to pi over 2. Of course, we need 5 times this integral. So we multiply both sides of the equation by 5, and this is equal to 5 pi divided by 2. So what's the answer to our puzzle? You could write it as 5 pi over 2, or 2.5 pi, but I think it's much more appropriate to write it in terms of emojis. So the correct answer is 2 pi's and a half. And that's the answer. Thanks for making us one of the best communities on YouTube. See you next episode of Mind Your Decisions, where we solve the world's problems one video at a time. <laughs>